David Rubenstein is known for what he calls patriotic philanthropy. He purchased a copy of the Magna Carta, then built the gallery that houses it at the National Archives. He also bought rare copies of the Declaration of Independence and the Emancipation Proclamation and put them on display to remind us all that our hard-won rights and freedoms must be valued and preserved. Mr. Rubenstein's patriotic philanthropy includes significant gifts to the National Gallery of Art, the Library of Congress, the Smithsonian, and the National Zoo, as well as support for the restoration of the Washington Monument, Monticello, Montpelier, the Iwo Jima Memorial, and the Custis Lee House at Arlington National Cemetery. He supports these institutions, he says, to repay America for everything it gave to him. But the scope of Mr. Rubenstein's philanthropy does not end there. He's an active supporter of higher education, medical research, and the arts, giving multiple gifts to Duke, the University of Chicago, Harvard, Johns Hopkins, Columbia, Memorial Sloan Kettering, and the Institute for Advanced Study, as well as funding the expansion of the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts and the renovation of Lincoln Center. Like Andrew Carnegie, Mr. Rubenstein came from modest circumstances. As co-founder of the Carlyle Group, he has built the firm into a leader in the global asset management industry. And, in the spirit of Carnegie, Mr. Rubenstein plans to give away most of his money in his lifetime.